Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Katleho. If you're new here, please subscribe to become part of the family. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about something that I think is very important. And if you're an environmental sciences student or environmental sciences graduate, in one form or the other, you have come across this question, where exactly are you going to work? And it might be a daunting question, but it's absolutely fine. Usually my answer is, well, I can work wherever I want. And although this answer is 100% correct, I found that it's not always socially acceptable. So to start off with, before I go any deep into the topic, I just wanted to make clear one tiny detail. What exactly is environmental sciences? So environmental sciences is a multidisciplinary academic field that integrates physical and biological information. What this means is environmental sciences involves more than one branch of knowledge, which is why my answer of I can work anywhere, like it works. So if it involves more than one branch of knowledge, it means it involves things such as ecology, botany, climate sciences, oceanography and so many other disciplines within the sciences this means that environmental scientists study subjects such as the understanding of earth processes evaluating alternative energy systems pollution control and mitigation as well as natural resource management and the effects of global climate change among so many other things so in trying to put up a list of all the places you can work with with this particular degree i have tried to group them into five categories these are ngos or non-governmental organizations the government or government entities academic or research corporates and finally entrepreneurship the last one is very self-explanatory because it basically means as a graduate, you can go out there into the working environment, start your own environmental company as either an environmental consultant, an environmental scientist, or an EIA specialist. EIA stands for Environmental Impact Assessment. So you can help um, things such as mining companies, construction companies with their environmental impact assessments. The second category is NGOs or non-governmental organizations. Under this category, you can work for companies or organizations such as WWF, which is the Worldwide Fund for Nature. WWF is an international organization that basically works in the preservation of the wilderness and reducing human impact on the environment. The second organization is the Endangered Wildlife Trust. This is a South African organization that is involved in the conservation of threatened plants and species across Southern Africa. The third one is BirdLife South Africa. So BirdLife South Africa is part of BirdLife International and its main goal is the preservation and conservation of bird species, their habitats and their biodiversity mainly in South Africa. The third category of workspaces in environmental sciences is government or government entities. So as an environmental sciences graduate, you can work in the government, either in government departments such as the Department of Environmental Affairs, now known as the Department of Environment, Forestry and Fisheries. You can work in the Department of Energy. You can work in the Department of Water and Sanitation, among all the others. You can also work for government entities such as ESCOM, Randwater, and actually speaking of Randwater, you can work for water treatment plants or water treatment facilities. You can work for entities such as the South African National Biodiversity Institute, also known as SANBI. So the South African National Biodiversity Institute, better known for its zoological and botanical gardens, such as the Pretoria Zoo, Preston Bosch and Walter Susulu Botanical Gardens, among others. It contributes to South Africa's sustainable development. And it does this by facilitating access to biodiversity data, advising in policy developments, and showcasing and conserving South Africa's biodiversity in its zoological and botanical gardens. So you can work in, for example, Hibaria, across the country which fall under Sanbi either as a botanical curator as a scientist 
or as a technician actually the last but not least workplace under government entities is the south african national parks or sand parks such as the kruger national park the mapungube national park table mountain national park and garden route so you can work in all of these various places as a graduate usually when i think of the corporate um category i think of banks which is not wrong because as an environmental scientist graduate you can work in a bank as an environmental consultant so you can work in banks across the country you can work for mining companies such as anglo-american you can work for environmental management companies such as the erm and you can work for you can work for engineering and construction companies as an environmental consultant or environmental specialist the last category that i came up with is the one that is mostly known and the one that most people think is the only option for somebody who graduates with an environmental sciences degree and this is academia or research so yes most people decide to go into academia or research but it is not the only option out there as you have heard in this video so in academia or research you can work as an environmental educator or just an educator either in schools or universities you can become a teacher you can become a lecturer you can become a professor depending on how far you're willing to go in your academic career you can also work as a researcher in research institutions such as the CSIR WCR which is the Water Research Commission or again you can work as a researcher in the South African National Biodiversity Institute so before I end this video I thought I might just as well mention a few career fields that you can go into in environmental sciences please note this is not the complete list of career fields you can pursue because there are so many other things that you can do with this particular degree firstly you can go into ecology you can become an ecologist you can go into botany you can do things such as animal behavior or animal sciences you can go into biodiversity and conservation gis and earth sciences ecological engineering most people who do ecological engineering go and work in mines either with the rehabilitation of mines or just helping mining companies come up with sustainable solutions of what exactly are they going to do with that particular piece of land after they're done with their mine you can work in environmental law and policy yes you can become an environmental lawyer obviously you will need to do law in conjunction with your environmental degree you can go into environmental education as i've mentioned you can do things such as climate sciences and climate research you can go into sustainability most people that do sustainability work in corporates for banks for example as environmental consultants you can work in aquatic sciences you can become a marine biologist for example and you can work in entomology so as you can see this list is very diverse and essentially you can do whatever you want that is always my opinion if you are in this field you can do whatever you want you can build your own career you can take any direction that you wish and one thing i like most is that you are always able to change your mind if i decide i want to do botany and then one day i'm like there's more i can do with this degree i can obviously go into biodiversity and conservation i can decide to do animal science research whatever i want so that is all for my video guys please like the video and share it with anyone and everyone you think it might help or be of some value remember to comment down below any other workplaces you think i might have missed any other careers you think i might have missed or not mentioned in this video because i did not want this video to be too long comment down below anything you have in mind whatever questions you have i'll be sure to engage with you in the comments down below and please note all of the companies that i've mentioned in this video i will put the links to their website in the description box so you can go and check them out if you want to find out more so like this video and subscribe to become part of the family if you have not subscribed yet. And that is all from me for today. Bye.